As you know, our latest series has been checking out some of the hottest communities around San Diego. Hey, in this video, we're going to cover several of the most desirable areas in the North County. It's our job to show you, and it's your job to decide which one is your favorite. So in this one, we're showing you three communities along the 15 freeway, Ranch Bernardo along with Poway, which is actually its own city, plus an almost secret spot called Scripps Ranch. All three areas are unique, but all share some common traits too. And we'll get to more of that when we get to breaking down everything for you. You know, the kind of stuff you want to know when you're making a move, like the latest housing stats, what the commute times are like from the different areas, what the weather is like in this part of San Diego, plus details about the schools and the local amenities, basically everything you need to know to be confident that you found the right place to call home. Oh, and guys, don't forget to check out those other videos that we did in this series. We'll add a link so it's easy for you. So I'm pretty excited about these three communities because Ranch Bernardo, or RB as we call it, has some really big news as far as potential growth. News that we know is really gonna push property values up. And the city of Poway, you've got a ton of shopping and dining. Plus, they've actually got a local government that's solid, one that actually listens to its constituents, which seems to be something the residents of the city of San Diego proper are struggling with right now. Oh, and over in Scripps Ranch, well, it has an entire forest of eucalyptus trees, and they're basically everywhere. There's a wide variety of neighborhoods with great small town feel. You may want to put this one on your radar. Guys, all three areas have excellent school ratings. They all enjoy a mild climate with really great amenities everything homeowners want to keep their property values high and we find that folks who buy and move into these neighborhoods tend to fall in love and they never really leave so with that let's check out why now i'm going to venture to say the first reason has got to be the climate in this part of san diego county it's mild and it's in a mediterranean climate zone Ranch Bernardo, Poway, and Scripps all share the same average temperatures, 65 degrees in January and 85 degrees in July. Also, all three have large, rolling, hilly landscapes. Now, Scripps Ranch and Ranch Bernardo both have some canyons, so they get some great breezes that are sweeping off of the coastline through those canyons. And Poway is more of a large valley with some pretty big hills on the outskirts of the city all share the same amount of full sun days at 165. We know from living in these areas, 165 full sun days is kinda on the low end. It seems like the average for all of San Diego County. Now, my dad says it's pushing maybe 200 plus. <laughs> now, it's worth mentioning, when folks reach out to us from these videos, they ask to get home listings in all three of these communities at the same time. Okay, we're starting up in the north area of Ranch Bernardo, which is bordered by Escondido to the north and Forest Ranch to the west. RB has two zip codes, 92128 and 92127. It's a mid-sized city with just under 43,000 residents, and the way that it's situated, it actually straddles the 15 freeway. Now, fun fact, <laughs> Ranch Bernardo was the first ever master plan community in the US, something my dad read about before we even thought about moving to San Diego. All the stats for this video are based on when it was filmed, early July of 2023. Right now, Ranch Bernardo is in a seller's market. Both zip codes 92127 and 92128 are in a strong seller's market. Right now, in 92127, the average sold price is just under 2.4 million. Days on market is averaging 22, and homes are selling at 93% of the list price. Once we go to the opposite side of the freeway in 92128, the average sold price is just above 1,250,000. Days on market is averaging 23, and homes in this zip code are selling at 101% of their list price. And the reason that you see these two zip codes in the same community at such different price points is the age of the homes. Homes in 92127 tend to be much newer than the ones over in 92128, which means that the new homes are gonna be on smaller lots 
and associated with higher HOA fees, plus most will have mellow ruse fees. In Rancho Bernardo, you will find lots of single family homes in excellent neighborhoods. I mentioned the east side of the freeway has older homes and the west side of the 15 has mostly newer construction, like in the 4S Ranch community. We have done a bunch of videos about this whole area recently and I'll add the links so you can check them out. Full zip codes have a lot of condos and townhome options too, and you can find a lot of 55 plus communities here too. Single family homes average between 1,200 square feet all the way up to well over 2,200 square feet. And like I mentioned, you're gonna find a majority of the homes built in 92128, built in the 80s and the 90s, and over in 92127, homes built within the past 20 years all the way up to just a few years ago. Folks in Ranch Bernardo can hop on the 15 freeway to access the connecting freeways like the 78 to the north and the 56 to the south, making commuting to work pretty easy. Average commute times are 30 to 40 minutes and there's something you're gonna wanna know if you're considering any of these communities along the 15 freeway. The 15 freeway has a commuter carpool lane so if you buy the pass you can ride solo in it oh and if you got two or more people or you have an electric vehicle you can use the same carpool lanes for free comes in pretty handy during rush hour oh and as we've mentioned in other videos you have a lot of companies with headquarters in rb um petco uh drones furniture stores plus you've got companies like sony Amazon, and other tech companies, along with Caterpillar Heavy Equipment and Northrop Grumman. And if you know me, I'd have to mention that the new Apple campus is going in here. So we can only imagine what has happened in other areas where Apple has added a campus. That's going to happen here too. Hey, don't take my word for it. Check it out for yourself. Places like Austin, Texas and Raleigh, North Carolina, where other subsidiary businesses also move in. Think about it. I mean, places like the local gym, car wash, and catering companies are all going to see a boost with the new Apple campus, which is going to boost home values along with the growth. We did a whole video on this very topic and it's linked for you to check out. So for you investors looking for a solid location to invest, a condo or a single family home in this part of town will be an excellent long-term play for you. And because RB is a master plan community, shopping, dining, and local amenities are plenty and well spread out in the area. There are a handful of great golf courses along with a lot of community centers, pools, and tons of activities too. One thing to note here is that you do have a ton of options for healthcare. Lots of senior communities are in the 92128 zip code and you've got Pomerado Hospital sitting on the border of Ranch Bernardo and Poway. Now, RB is great for everyone, not just seniors. In fact, the schools in these three areas that we're gonna cover are excellent. Niche.com gives Ranch Bernardo schools an A rating. So right now, there are 61 homes on the market, ranging from 890,000 all the way up to just under $8,500,000. Next, we're heading south and a tad east to the city of Poway. Have you heard their slogan, the city in the country? This area has 49,000 residents and the most variety in housing, plus shopping, dining, and recreational activities, the most out of all of the three areas that we're covering today. And it's got a ton of history dating all the way back to the Native Americans which come to think of it is something that you can see a lot of around different areas in San Diego. I've even heard that there are pictographs on some of the boulders and outcroppings around town. Hey, and they're not kidding about city in the country. We saw a mama bobcat and her cubs in some boulders out in a backyard at a home that we were previewing uh, one day over by Lake Poway. So another very desirable thing about Poway is the school system. The Poway Unified School District has great ratings. And you don't just have to live in Poway to be part of it. The surrounding communities of Rancho Penasquitas and Ranch Bernardo share it into it as well, which makes this part of San Diego a huge draw for families. Plus, you've got cool things to do like Lake Poway with concerts, summer theater, movie screenings. And if you're into 
trail walking, mountain biking, or even riding your horse around town, <laughs> Poway has this linked trail system through a real good part of the city. Since Poway is so large, I think it's 40 square miles or more, commute times tend to be about 30 to 45 minutes on average to get to and from work. So checking in on housing stats, you can see from this chart, Poway is in a strong seller's market. And here's why folks, home sales continue to outstrip supply and the market action index has been moving higher for several weeks. Hey, if you want this chart emailed to you, let us know. That way you can track the current trends in your neighborhood or wherever you're thinking about moving to. Reach out to us and let us know. We'd be happy to get this over to you in an email so you get real time data just like us. Now, the average sold price is just a tad over a million six, and homes are on the market for an average of 28 days or so right now, and they tend to be selling at about 99% of their list price. Poway has a lot of options for housing, condo and townhome communities, lots of different single family homes, smaller, older three bedroom, like one and a half bath places around a thousand square feet that were built in the 70s, all the way up to estates with gate guarded entrances and everything in between. We will link the video that we shot with a driving tour of all the home styles because there really is something for everyone in this city. Now the average home size is between 1600 to 2800 square feet. And for the most part, you can find homes that were built between the 60s up to the 90s. You even have a couple of options for brand new construction with some retirement centers, townhomes, condos, and even some single family homes. Hey, currently there are 47 homes on the market right now, ranging from just under 890,000 all the way up to $6,750,000. Now let's check out that area I called a hidden gym because when you're flying down the 15 freeway at 70 miles an hour, you'll never really even notice it's there. Most folks have no idea this community is on the east side of the 15 called Scripps Ranch. It's tucked behind some hillsides and it's under the cover of thousands of eucalyptus trees. When we first moved to San Diego in 1983 from Louisville, Kentucky, we had a home in Scripps on Red Rock Court, a little cul-de-sac home over by the older Vaughn Shopping Center. Now. This entire area has expanded since way back then. So you do have an older section on the south end of town and further east and to the north, you're gonna find bigger and newer homes. Some are really big, like 5,000 square feet with five bedrooms on over a quarter acre lot big. You can also find a bunch of condos and townhome communities here too, varying in age and size. Scripps Ranch has 37,000 residents and guess what? It's in a strong seller's market too. Home sales continue to outstrip supply. I'm thinking that the words got out about this hidden gem community because the average sold price is just over 1,630,000. Days on market is averaging 12 and homes are selling at 104% of list price. You know, we get asked this all the time about when our price is gonna come down in San Diego. Well, you need to understand San Diego's real estate market isn't like other areas across the nation right now. Competition for buyers is fierce, <laughs> which tends to be the case all over this part of the county. Some clients that we're helping right now were in competition with seven other offers on a home this week. Unfortunately, they did get beat out by a much higher offer, well over the list price. Guess that other family was willing to pay a whole lot more for that house, at least over asking price to get the home. We reassured our clients that we're gonna get the right home at the right time. And luckily they're in no rush. So we'll keep looking. Guys, that's what's really going on in the market for buyers right now. Even in the million $500,000 range here in San Diego, we are experiencing that the buyers are still willing to come in well over asking price and do things like waive their appraisal contingencies. Demand outweighs supply, causing all of these strong seller markets. Now, I'm not saying this to discourage you. Instead, we find it's much better for our clients to know exactly what's going on in the market based on our daily experience negotiating offers. That way our clients have the confidence to present their strongest offer possible, especially when they do find the home of their dreams. You know, the one they'd be kicking themselves for if they didn't get, 
Now back to the homes and scripts. <laughs> because of the age difference in the homes around here, you can find homes that were built in the 80s, 90s, and 2000s, and they vary in size too. Some are under 1,200 square feet, all the way up to over 2,500 square feet. Not sure if you've seen them yet, but from time to time, we will shoot a walkthrough style video for different communities and different types of homes. Hey, we get it, it just makes sense. You wanna see what a home's layout and what the floor plan looks like, what the neighborhoods look like. That way you can see how your family would fit into any of these different communities and properties. Well, we've shot those kind of videos for all of these areas and those links are available for you to check out. You know, one of the greatest things is how peaceful Scripps Ranch is with the wind blowing through the eucalyptus trees, except for one thing, which we San Diegans fondly refer to as the sound of freedom. Its neighbor to the south is Miramar Military Base. Hey, remember that classic Top Gun? It was filmed right here at Miramar Air Base. Yeah, you're gonna hear jets and helicopters taking off and landing now, Scripps is not the only community around here that has that air traffic noise. In fact, you will sign a disclosure when you buy a home in San Diego, one that acknowledges the fact that there are planes and helicopters flying overhead. <laughs> so when you check out Scripps from an overhead view, the area sweeps around Lake Miramar, which is a great place to spend some time outdoors. You can ride a bike or jog around the entire lake or rent a boat and head out for some fishing. As you can see from niche.com site, the schools in Scripps Ranch are awesome. And like other communities we've covered, there are plenty of shopping centers spread out around the area. But for major shopping, you're gonna need to head into the neighboring communities of Mir Mesa or Poway. And another big draw is its location. You're further south down the 15 freeway than Poway, RB, PQ, and even Escondido, which is great if you're hopping on that freeway to get down to San Diego for work every day. Being further south along the 15 saves you anywhere from five to 20 minutes of traffic at peak travel times. And that adds a big contributing factor to why you only have 16 single family homes on the market right now, ranging in price from just under a million three all the way up to $3.2 million. Guys, there really is a ton of data, details, and insights that we can share with you. All kind of local knowledge about all the different cities and neighborhoods around San Diego County. So now it's your turn. Reach out to us and let us know what type of info you're looking for. Hey, we get it. Moving is a big deal. With a quick conversation, we'd be able to offer some of the best areas that match up with your budget and your lifestyle. Now you've got expert guidance and years of experience on your side. We're excited to hear from you and we cannot wait to help your family with your upcoming move. We'll see you on the next video.